Right now, Amazon can scan your face without your consent, all of our faces without our consent, and sell it to the, to the government all without our knowledge, correct? Yes. And, uh, you know, Ms., um, Mr. Chair, I'd like to seek unanimous consent on how Amazon actually met with ICE officials over facial recognition system that could identify immigrants. I'd like to submit this to the congressional record. Without objection. Thank you so much. Um, Ms. Garvey, in fact, it's not just Amazon that's doing this, right? It's uh, Facebook, it's Microsoft, it's a very large amount of tech corporations, correct? That's correct. Do you think it's fair to say that Americans are essentially being spied on and surveilled on a massive scale without their consent or knowledge? I would make a bit of a distinction between what Facebook um, and other uh, companies are doing, um, but yielding to Ms. Bull and Weenie for, for more specifics on this, I will say most of the law enforcement agency systems mm -hmm. operate on DMV databases or mugshot databases, so information that has been collected by agencies rather than companies. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Ferguson, one of the prime constitutional concerns about the non-consensual use of facial recognition, recognition technology is rooted or alluded to in the 14th Amendment, correct? It's correct, it's one of them. And right now, companies, governments, agencies can essentially steal or use your biometric data from you without your consent, and, and this is outrageous, right? Because this is America, and we have a right to privacy. Isn't that right, Ms. Koliani? Uh, That's absolutely right. Thank you, thank you so much. Ms. Bulamwini, I, I heard your opening statement, and we saw that these algorithms are um, effective to different degrees. So are, are they most effective on women? No. Are they most effective on people of color? Absolutely not. Are they most effective on people of different gender expressions? No, in fact, they exclude them. So what demographic is it mostly effective on? White men. And who are the primary engineers and designers of these algorithms? Definitely white men. So we have a technology that was created and designed by one demographic that is only mostly effective on that one demographic and they're trying to sell it and impose it on the entirety of the country so we have the pale male data sets being used as something that's universal when that isn't actually the case when it comes to representing the full sepia of humanity. And do you think that this could exacerbate the already egregious uh, inequalities in our, in our criminal justice system? It already is. Thank you very much. I yield the rest of my time to the chair. How so? So right now, because you have the propensity for these systems to misidentify black individuals or brown communities more often, and you also have confirmation bias, where if I have been uh, said to be a criminal, that I am more targeted. So there's a case with uh, Mr. Ba, an 18-year-old African-American man who was misidentified in Apple stores as a thief. And in fact, he was, um, he was falsely arrested multiple times because of this kind of misidentification. And then if you have a case where we're thinking about putting, uh, let's say, facial recognition technology on police body cams in a situation where you already have racial bias that can be used to confirm, right, the presumption of guilt, even if that hasn't necessarily been proven because you have these algorithms that we already have sufficient information showing fail more on communities of color.